Hey y'all, this is Elle Thick Madame. So, I just wanted to talk a few minutes about what we saw on The Real Housewives of Potomac. First of all, Robin, why were you Johnny on the spot, the first one on the scene, when you normally are the last person to get somewhere? Like, come on now. You normally are always late. You were on time early. You were super early for this because you apparently thrive off of drama. So it's like, when you know ahead of time some drama gonna pop off, I'm pretty sure all of a sudden we gonna start seeing you be in places early. So girl, bye. Why are you there so early? Then you will follow by the other heifer, your friend, the other green-eyed bandit as people like to call y'all, green-eyed heifer or whatever. And I'm just like, y'all wanna be early when y'all feel like some drama finna pop off. Like, I don't understand. Like, that is crazy to me. So anyway, I just found that to be very interesting. Any other time people have given you notice about an event, you can't never be there on time. Never. You can't never be there early. You can't never be there on time. But all of a sudden, you know how to be there super early for this. So anyway, y'all, I don't know if this has been discussed. It probably has been, but I haven't paid attention. But I'm just confused as to why nobody is, is aware that Wendy... Uh, put her hand on Monique way before the fight even happened. She like reached over like before the fight even happened. So I'm looking like, okay, girl, you, you part of the problem too. Like, are you forgetting that you had a hand in it too? Like, I don't know what's going on unless I'm not seeing it the way I need to see it. But every time I've seen that video, because you see how many times they replay the video every episode. I'm just looking like, all right, now nah, this is too much. What is going on? So anyway, Monique is trying to convey to everybody how, you know, she does not want to be seen like this. This is not her personality. This is not her. And again, Robin is, is all up in arms and, oh no, it's like all of a sudden she's this a detective. It's like, girl. Girl, normally you are ditzy and don't understand what's going on, but all of a sudden you just you just really here for it now. It's like you just really you just went home and just really did your homework on what happened. Like you just really went through your mind and went over a, a whole speech of what you was gonna say for this episode. Then Giselle sat up here and brought security. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. All Monique would have to do is sling you across the room real quick. Like there wouldn't have had to be any kind of hair pulling. Like, if it ever got down to something like that, we already know you can't bust a grape. So, I don't even understand why you brought, brought security. That wouldn't make any sense anyway for her to even fight you if the whole point of this is for her to come to y'all and talk to y'all and get some clarity on what happened and to, you know, put her side out there to let y'all know, like, I don't want y'all to feel any type of way when I'm around. She even said towards the end of everything that, if y'all have any functions and y'all think y'all might need to choose between her or Candace, don't even worry about it. Don't even invite me. And, you know, it's like, girl, she don't need, she don't even need this TV show. She has all this money that she can get out of her husband at any time. So in a way, I'm kind of like, why did you even get on this show? But at the same time, it's like, nah, this is too much. I'm just, it, it's just like, come on now. This is all, this is a mess. This is really a mess. And I'm just like, girl, bye. And then that's why when Wendy was talking, I, it was like going in one ear and out the other for me because I'm like, girl, uh, girl, <laughs> I know for a fact, I can tell by the way she reacts to stuff that if somebody would have reached over and flipped her hair, she would have been fighting too. So don't be trying to make it seem like, oh, these people do all these things. I would never do anything. If somebody reached out and flipped your hair, or if Monique had to say something about dragging you, or if anybody had to say any of the things that were said to you, you would have popped off too. Like, oh, I'm not buying it. Unless you were in the situation, you can't say what you would have done. You being called these things because people don't want to see you on the screen because you are a black face in America in a very racist, very racist time because of the people who have been putting ignorant people into these positions that don't need to be 45 it is expected for you to get that type of hate 
So to me, it is completely different from just regular people on the street, people who look just like you. You're going back and forth with them about regular stuff in life. The the ignorance that that happens between you and Karen and all that stuff. You being like the the responses that you've given because the person saying she don't remember you and all of this. It's like, girl, why do you care so much whether she remembers you or not? Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Whether she remembers or not, I mean, y'all have to understand. Maybe she has something going on. Like, didn't her? Didn't somebody in her family have something going on? Maybe she legit does not remember you like that. Whether y'all serve on a board together or not. But even if that's not the case, even if she's playing like she has amnesia, or Alzheimer's, or something like that, like if she is playing, let her play. And why do you want to keep bringing it up? Like, I can't believe she don't remember me. Like, girl, why do you care? I don't understand, but I said all that to say this. I just think that it is unfortunate that people bring you to a point, which I mean, I agree. Yeah, maybe it shouldn't have gotten that far, but as I've already stated before, Candace has this way of getting to you. She has this way of saying certain things to you and feeling as though she's untouchable and Monique has proven that she indeed is not untouchable. So now everybody want to be all up in arms about it. And it's like, now y'all know good and well. And then like, as we already mentioned before, isn't it funny how the day of the fight, both the green eyed heifers was all, they was the main ones with the eyes of glow. And they looked like they were excited that the situation was popping off. Versus the other people who were genuinely acting as if they were really like, in it and like, hey, this needs to stop. So, girl, ain't nobody. I'm not. That's why I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to hear nothing that Robin got to say. I'm not trying to hear nothing that Giselle has to say. I'm glad Giselle got up and left because she she basically is not accepting of what's going on. Talking about well, if this is how she gonna be and she's not gonna be remorseful and all this other stuff, then she can't be around her. She didn't got up and left with her security. And all that. And again, like I said, I just don't understand why she brought security. Girl, didn't nobody care about you being there. Nobody cares. And then, y'all, before I get off the deal, girl, bye. Getting in your confessional talking about you and your ex-husband have a brand to protect because he's a pastor. Girl, your husband was trash before you married him. He was trash during your marriage. He is trash current day. So why are you sitting up here talking about he has a brand to protect? No, you have money to protect because he's a mega pastor which means all kinds of good money you have deemed hey this is going to be my cash cow again let me get on this while the opportunity has presented itself you already was getting money for child support i'm sure ain't no way you of all people sitting up here not getting child support for these kids and they all still underage ain't no way so that's all for real <laughs> and then he got all these other kids Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. He probably sleeping with some members right now. So ain't no brand to protect. You already know most of these people out here fake and phony and they are not doing what they're supposed to do. So don't be trying to sit up here trying to make it seem like, well, I have a brand to protect. I'm not going to be around her if that's the way she's going to act. Girl, bye. And then every time we look up, you talking very, very, very not biblical with the things that you discuss with people, because if that was the case, you would definitely not be around these ladies. A lot of the stuff they talk about is stuff that you shouldn't be around. If you really out here trying to be with him like that and are so concerned about the brand, which you are not again, you are concerned about the money. Let's be clear. Anyway, I wish Robin would go somewhere and tend to her children and her raggedy relationship that she's so desperate to have. He didn't got tired he, I guess he didn't got tired. He didn't, he didn't basically reach his peak sexually. And so he ain't got the energy he used to have. Cause y'all already know men reach their sexual peak way beyond and, and way before women do. So he didn't probably, his sex drive and probably calm down a little bit. And now he like, well, I, I'm good with just her. I ain't got time to try to make up these lies about where I am. So I'm good with her. And now I just go ahead and settle down with her because I got these kids by her. And hopefully I ain't got no more out there from all the screwing and sticking and moving I was doing. Girl, you ain't got no prize either. So I don't want to hear it. I said what I said. Anyway, <laughs> so both of y'all ain't got nothing to look up to. I don't care nothing about what they talking about. It is what it is as far as that is, sir. 
So anyway, Wendy need to go somewhere and sit down because like I said, had it, the shoe been on the other foot, she would have been right there along with her fighting. I don't care what she say. Don't care what she say. She wouldn't have thought about her kids. She wouldn't have thought about her husband. She wouldn't even thought about now one of her jobs or her degrees in those moments. So she could save that for somebody who really would sit up there and believe the lies she's telling. I ain't trying to hear it because she's had moments with people where there weren't even moments. And it's like, girl, you really going that hard when ain't nothing even going on? Oh, okay, girl, you really ain't got no life outside of your kids. Apparently, for you to be this upset and, and this passionate about something that ain't even going on, it ain't even that deep. So anyway... I am the the light in this situation was Karen and Ashley because Ashley was trying to be neutral in the situation. And despite what Monique was saying, she was like, look, you know, she's saying that she's changing. She wants to change. She's saying that she wants to change and that she is acknowledging the things that have happened. And, you know, she is definitely not over the situation. The adrenaline is still there. So, of course, she's not going to be remorse, remorseful in this moment. I don't know why y'all expecting a miracle in the course of seven days. I'm not understanding because she definitely is not Jesus. None of y'all are Jesus. So I don't understand why y'all are expect, expecting a miracle. So according to her, this was literally a week later when they met up. So it's like, why y'all expecting a miracle? She, It would be fake to me for her to come and say, you know what? I'm sorry. And I don't feel that way anymore. And da, 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 da. like, I feel like she really would be putting up a front. So I'm glad that she was real about it and said, no, I don't feel remorseful. It is what it is. It happened. I'm not there yet. I am going to seek out my uh, pastor and his wife to talk to them and to see what I can do. And I mean, I get that. So that's why I'm not understanding why people are expecting a miracle. I'm not understanding why people are expecting a miracle in seven days because you could tell that that was something that had been building for quite some time. This wasn't no, oh, out of nowhere, here she come. Like, no, that's not what happened. This is something that's been happening for the longest. And that's why I, I see this whole episode, they showed Candace in therapy. I'm glad that when they showed her in therapy, the therapist said what he said, which was that she provoked in that moment because he she was given a play by play and he said okay so you provoked her and so she was like yes but it's the other like girl i would I'm, I'm i'm like why do you tell her but no don't say but acknowledge the fact that you provoked accept that and move on yes the other things that happened maybe they shouldn't have happened but let's be clear you provoked in that situation Anyway, y'all, y'all already know we could all go back and forth <laughs> all day about this, but that was crazy. And I'm just like, girl, I'm just tired. And I'm just like, girl, Robin, you knew you knew you was trash <laughs> because you sit up there trying to be Johnny on the spot. And the first one in line, the first one in the house to see it, thinking that something going to go down. Like if it revolves around mess, I'm guessing that we're going to always see you get there really, really early unless a real emergency pop off. Girl, I can't. Giselle, go somewhere and sit down. It ain't that deep. <laughs> uh, Wendy, definitely go somewhere and sit down. Your degrees do not stop people from setting it off and beating you down. So I don't understand why people want to say, oh, all of these degrees, oh, all of these accomplishments. That does not stop anybody. That's like saying that's going to stop celebrities from getting beat down, shot and killed and everything else. That does not stop somebody from hurting you. That does not stop somebody from dragging you. I don't understand why you listing off the things that you've done in your life is going to stop the right person from coming along and beating you down. I don't understand. Uh, Ashley, I'm here for it. Um, as far as this is concerned, y'all already know I ain't here for her relationship. She could have just, I don't know why she got pregnant by that. Um, Karen, I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? She's like, look, both of y'all are my friends. I'm not picking and choosing. And she actually said to Monique, I did not agree with what you did. You are acknowledging that certain things happened, but I did not agree with you with what you did. So I'm glad that she was like, I'm your friend to the end. But <laughs> what you did was wrong. Anyway, y'all. Y'all hope y'all have a good night. Y'all have a good one and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.